the standard binomial expansion of x plus y whole raised power n is equal to x raised power n plus n choose 1 times x raised power n minus 1 times y plus n choose 2 times x raised power n minus 2 times y square plus n choose 3 times x raised power n minus 3 times y raised power 3 plus and so on. Now we are given that the second term is equal to 240. The third term is equal to 720. And the fourth term is equal to 1080. Therefore, the second term, which is n times x raised power n minus 1 times y, is equal to 240. Let's call this equation 1. The third term, which is equal to n times n minus 1 upon 2 times x raised power n minus 2 times y square, is equal to 720. Let's call this equation 2. And the fourth term, which is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 upon 6, multiplied by x raised power n minus 3 times y cube is equal to 1080. Let's call this equation 3. Now multiplying equations 1 and 3, we get on the left hand side n square times n minus 1 times n minus 2 upon 6 multiplied by x raised to the power 2n minus 4 multiplied by y raised to the power 4 and this is equal to 240 multiplied by 1080. Taking the square of equation 2, we get on the left hand side n square times n minus 1 square divided by 4 multiplied by x raised to the power 2n minus 4 multiplied by y raised to the power 4 and this is equal to 720 square. Now dividing the above two equations, we get on the left hand side n square times n minus 1 times n minus 2 upon 6 multiplied by x raised to the power 2 n minus 4 multiplied by y raised to the power 4 divided by n square times n minus 1 square upon 4 multiplied by x raised to the power 2 n minus 4 times y raised to the power 4. And on the right hand side, we have 240 times 1080 divided by 720 times 720. On the left hand side, x raised to the power 2n minus 4 times y raised to the power 4 cancels across the numerator and denominator. So does n square times n minus 1. And the right hand side simplifies to equal half. Therefore, we have n minus 2 upon n minus 1 multiplied by 4 upon 6 is equal to half. This can be written as 4 times in brackets n minus 2 is equal to 3 times in brackets n minus 1 which implies that 4 n minus 8 is equal to 3 n minus 3 and therefore n is equal to 5, which is the required answer. Now recall equation 1, which is n times x raised power n minus 1 times y is equal to 240. Substituting the value of n obtained above, we get x raised power 4 times y is equal to 240 upon 5, which is equal to 48. Recall equation 2 which is n times n minus 1 upon 2 multiplied by x raised to the power n minus 2 times y square is equal to 720. Substituting the value of n, we get 5 times 4 upon 2 multiplied by x cubed times y square is equal to 720. This implies that x cubed times y square is equal to 72. Therefore, x cube y square is equal to 72 and x raised power 4 times y is equal to 48.
Dividing the first equation by the square of the second equation, we get x cubed y square divided by x raised to the power 4y whole square is equal to 72 upon 48 square. Y square cancels on the left hand side, and we are left with 1 upon x raised to the power 5 is equal to 72 upon 48 times 48. The right hand side simplifies to one upon thirty-two, and therefore x raised to the power five is equal to thirty-two, and so x is equal to two, which is the required answer. Substituting this in the result, x raised to the power four times y is equal to forty-eight obtained earlier, we get y is equal to forty-eight divided by two raised to the power four, which is equal to three, which is the required answer. Therefore, to summarize, x is equal to two, y is equal to three, and n is equal to five.